You are welcome to this unique platform, Literature Hub 247, a free online literature class. Still on that non-African novel, titled To Kill a Mockingbird, written by Apali. This is chapters 14 and 15 of the novel. We've earlier discussed the plot summary and chapters 1 to 13 of this novel. So you can request for the link to the previous videos on this novel if you need it. So I will send them to you. So let's go to the classroom. In the last chapter, we discussed the arrival of uh, Auntie Alessandra in Mako. But Scout seems, it seems, uh, Scout doesn't like Auntie Alessandra. According to the question, she was asking Auntie Alexandra. So let's see what happens in chapters 14 and 15 here. The children don't hear much about the Finch family from Aunt Alexandra again, but much is here from the people in the town. They also hear them talking about rape. The scout asks articles one day the meaning of rape. He replies that rape is a kind of knowledge of a female by force and without consent. The scout is then worried why Caponia could not explain it to her when she asked her. The scout then tells articles about their trip to Caponia's church. That's in the uh, previous chapter. Articles seems to enjoy it, but Aunt Alessandra is put aback and surprised that they follow Caponia to a church. When Scout tells her father of her intention to visit Caponia the following Sunday, and Aunt Alexander says she may not go. Scout responds that the statement is not directed to her. <laughs> Scout is telling Aunt Alexandra that she was not directing the statement to her, that she doesn't expect the answer from Aunt Alexandra. At course springs off immediately and tells Scout to apologize to Aunt Alexandra first. Then educates her that she must go as Caponia, Alessandra, and him tell her in the house. Scout goes to the bedroom to save her some dignity. When she comes back, she hears Aunt Alessandra telling articles that he needs to do something about her. She later goes down the hall with articles discussing this. That is, Aunt Alessandra is telling articles that uh, articles need to do something about Scout. As Scout and Jen bid themselves good night, as Scout enters her room, she feels as if she stepped on a snake. She switched on the light. She switched on the light, but didn't see anything. She then knocks on Jen's door and drops him. Jen goes to the kitchen and brings a broom. He swipes under the bedroom, but no snake comes out. It is later discovered that it is there hiding under the bed. Then that is how he gets to make home. To scout and Jim, he took thirteen dollars from his mother's purse to transport himself to Macomb Junction. He then walked and climbed on the backboard of a cotton wagon to Macomb. He says he has been under the bed for two hours. Jim tells D that he needs to tell his mother his whereabouts. He calls articles to the room to see D, and scout assures him not to be scared of articles. Articles tells the children to get something for Dee to eat until he comes back. Dee begs Articles not to tell Hans Rachel that he is in the house so that he will not run away again. Articles responds that he will not make him go anywhere but to sleep. He will only tell Miss Rachel that he is with them and ask if Dee can spend the night with them. The duo of Scout and Dee look at Jem as a traitor. Jem says he has to tell Articles because his mother has to know his whereabouts. They are looking at him as a traitor because uh, he told uh, their father about the about Dill, that Dill is in the room. Dill hits and hits because he has not eaten since last night. He spent all his money on tickets. And Alexander later tells the children to go to bed. Jem and Dill sleep together while Scout sleeps in a room. Dee later comes over to Scout's room and they discuss Dee's foster father, 
he explains to Scow that the man doesn't hate him. He said they didn't build the boat together as he wrote the other time. He says they feel better without him. They buy everything they want for him. Liu tells Kao that they should get a baby for themselves. He says they can order one from a man who rows across a foggy island where babies are see children without their belief. Scout counters that Han told her that God dropped them down the chimney. They also talk about a man who has the babies and just brings life into them while sleeping home. They talk about Bradley running home. That is chapter 14. Now before you continue, please, I want us to please be educating our students on the benefits they can derive from social media, especially YouTube. Because many of them believe that uh, YouTube is just for music, for uh, drama, and so on. Uh, they, didn't be, they, didn't, they don't believe that uh, they can learn even nearly all their subjects on YouTube. Let's, let's, let's educate them. So let's introduce them to this platform and other platform. Another platform where other subjects are taught also. After the intervention from this mother, it is eventually decided that they could stay for the summer. Things are now going well for scouts with the presence of Dale. She's also getting along with Aunt Alessandra. Dale has come up with another idea to deal out Bradley from the house. Sheriff Ectet and some men tell articles that Tom Robinson is being moved to the county jail. They suspect there might be trouble if he's kept in the town jail the night before the trial. This is another scene. This is like bringing the trial realities to articles home. The children is dropped on their conversation and Jeff begins to worry about articles. Articles goes into the town the following evening after supper. Scout discovers that Jem is trying to sneak out of the house that night. She decides to follow him. Jem could not stop Scout from following him, so he agrees with her. They call on Dale at Miss Richard's yard through the window and he joins them. They go downtown through Atticus' office. They pass through cars parked by the roadside. They later see Atticus from a distance in front of the jail, sitting in one of his office chairs reading. Scout wants to run to him, but Jem stops her. Different cars are now approaching the jail with men coming out of them. The people have come to lynch Tom Robinson, but Articles is unperturbed. Scout discovers that the people are strange people and not those who came to meet Articles last night. The children are forced to follow the crowd. Articles orders them to go home immediately, he sees them. The children refuse to take his order. Some folks also try to force the children to leave and go home, but all to no avail, even when Article appears to Jem. Article tries to put everything under control, but cannot. Scout later identifies one of the men as the father of Walter Cunningham. She introduces herself to him, and that Walter is in her grade. She has that the boy is good and that they take him home sometimes for dinner. Everybody, including Atticus, now listens to Scout addressing Cunningham Senior. The people are then seen moving towards their cars and leaving the place. After the people have left, Scout looks for Atticus, who has gone to discuss with Tom Robinson in his cell. Atticus swears, Atticus assures Tom that he's safe and that people have left. Atticus shows his affection to Jem as they all walk toward Atticus' office with Scout and they at the bar. So that is chapters 14 and 15 of To Kill a Mockingbird by Abad Lee. Please, if you are new on this platform, if you are new on this platform, please try and click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are part of this class and when any video is produced, you are going to be notified. Like this video, Share it on any social media platform. Invite your friend, invite your friends and colleagues to join us. If you have any question or comment, send it to the comment section and it will be attended to. And don't forget, all these videos are linked together. Just make sure you walk to the end. So the next video pops up. So let's meet in the next class. Thank you and God bless.